You know, uh, Friedrich Nietzsche, he used to say that the highest form a human being can attain for is to be an artist because he thinks um, you can say a lot with your emotions that you can't say with words. So like singing and painting and literature, you can basically like it's the most divine experience is to be um, an artist. And then how many people ended up, they're Nietzscheans, how many people adopted his philosophy without even knowing? Like we worship artists now. Artists have replaced gods. And I kind of get it. Oh, dude, it's so crazy how much people can't stand theological talk. You just say anything to do with um, the G word, people get freaked out. Eh? It's insane. I love it though. It makes it so much trendier. When people are like so scared to talk about things, it makes me like hot for that topic. Because I'm like, ooh, forbidden fruit, you know? And it, it just makes me think that if people are such pussies to talk about this stuff, it makes it, it, you know, it makes me want to poke holes in it and find out why. What's everyone up to today? What's going on? Or you can just ignore me, just be a rude cunt, just fucking say nothing. Piece of shit. Sit there, uh, entertain me. It's like, yeah, we'll contribute. Here we are now, entertain us. That's the philosophy, it's like, I'm here. No, fucking, I'm, I want free shit. Just entertain me. Even though I'm not just sitting here, I'm like a fat fuck. Oh, uh, entertain me. Uh. But I have to admit, I do that too. Most of the time, I watch podcasts and stuff. I just sit there like a fat fuck and just watch them and never contribute. Like, I, I'll even be fascinated by a topic, but I won't contribute. I'll just be like, I won't even tell them, you know. But, you know, like, what school teaches you is that you absorb information and then you critique, you contribute. You don't just absorb and absorb and absorb. You absorb and then regurgitate in your own way. So it's it's not right to just keep absorbing information without giving back. It's unnatural. You know, in most communities before um, we all became like Californians, people would acquire wealth and then they'd redistribute it because it's in human nature to want to share. It's not... It's a kind of sociopathic ideology to just want to hoard stuff for yourself. Because it doesn't make any sense. Because humans need each other. So it's a psychopathic thought notion to be like, yes, I want all the, all the treasure for myself. It was a very fascinating revelation. I, um, I've had a few long form videos on YouTube that kind of popped off lately. And I was always acting like really willful, 
being like, oh, you know, because I'm a truther and based, that I'm never going to have any success because I'm um, just too honest, you know, just too too awesome. Um, I, I found out that I was being encouraged on the YouTube homepage, like the algorithms was encouraging me, little old fucking Chevy, you know, this random little fucking uh, feral guy from Australia, and um, I was like so shocked. I was like. <laughs> The world isn't against me, it's only me. It's only my own lack of work ethic that's prevented me from succeeding. Which is amazing. It's amazing. It's, it's, it's great to know that um, there's um, big forces against you because it means you have the power within and it's empowering. It's like, fuck yeah, I can fix it, you know? It's great. Scooter rides, thanks for the support, brother. Keep it real, just keep being you. You know, I think black people and white people can really learn from each other because white people are criminal mind. They're too obsessed with details and facts. Oh shit. And um, black people, they're really into heart and emotion. And either extremes, just as bad as each other. To be all heart or all reason, terrible. But together, in unity, unstoppable. That's why America's killing it. They're the best country in the world because the white man and the black man, their cultures have come together to infuse number one culture. Australia, we're still a little bit too white, still a little bit too, too logical, too detail oriented, not enough heart, not enough love, not enough spirit, not enough passion. Too apathetic kind of emotionless and the only thing people do with our emotions as whites is like go to football games and go oh, kick the ball into a hole oh. that's how we get rid of our emotions and spirit I really wish people weren't so afraid to have tricky conversations because so many, so many topics controversial wouldn't be controversial if people just knew how to talk about it because people are so shy to talk about controversial topics they are left under the rug and they never progress you know if you keep issues under the rug they just fester and just develop bacteria blossom like Elon Musk said about Nick Fuentes, that uh, it's more dangerous to keep him off the platforms because you make a martyr out of someone when they are excluded. The underdog is, is worshipped. So to deny reality, you are strengthening those issues that you've been keeping quiet. It wouldn't have that power if they weren't so forbidden. It's like when you're 16, Alcohol is incredible because it's forbidden. So you turn 90, like this is boring as shit because it's not forbidden. And it's like, you know, a new woman seems really exciting because it's forbidden. But as soon as you get it, as soon as you get access, you're like, is that all there is? Is that all there is? It's the, the thrill of the chase. It's better than the catch, you know, it's 
to be in fruit. Whatever, I've got to do some work. This is fucking useless. I've got to get a dick now. You know, one of the biggest problems I've found in society is that people like you, you worship power. You worship power, status, and pleasure. And so but we can't even communicate properly when you're worshiping different idols. Like if your main goal in life is power, pleasure, and status, then we're not even speaking the same language. You know, it's don't even, it's like, we're not, it's not even people walking around in circles. And um, when you challenge somebody's core values, they hate you. They freaking hate your guts when you question someone's um, value system. Oh, shit, I'm in trouble now. All right, thank you.